I am. She is the often imitated but never duplicated Shaka Khan. Mm. Welcome to the show. Was that Thank a you. glowing enough That was lovely. Introduction? You're brilliant, really. I <laughs> You couldn't have written a better one yourself. No, huh? I couldn't have, no. But, but you know what? It, it's so heartfelt. I am such a big fan of yours. <laughs> Thank you. That this is very exciting for me. Thank and you. Uh, I want to say congratulations on the new album. Thank it you. is It's out in the stores right. now. And I understand that this is kind of a new thing for you because you, for the first time, are, drumroll, executive producer. producer. Right. Is that kind of scary? Well, it was, it was a little scary at first, but mm -hmm. I got it together. <laughs> Everything worked out fine. It was just that, since it was the first time for me, I didn't have a particular plan, game plan or anything, so I had to really work that out. So other than that, how is it different, though? I mean, you say, okay, well, I'm working on this new album, and I'm going to call all the shots. Is that basically what it means? You really call all the shots? Yeah, I really, I, I did, yes, yes. Sometimes I was doing an interview not long ago, and someone said, um, well, you know, when you see executive producer on an album, you never can be sure whether they really did the work or not. But in this case, the work was really done <laughs> by myself. I did like pick the songs, uh, for the most part, pick the, pick the producers mm -hmm. and, and, and the whole bit, and um, wrote uh, co-wrote five of the songs on the album. Ooh, but that's not the first time you ever co-wrote anything. Or no, wrote no, and so. you know I've also done you know vocal production before, I, but not, but not like this. You yeah. understand? Um, I will always produce my own vocals. I've always done it in every instance that I've ever um, recorded under. Now, I'm going to hate to you know, admit my ignorance here, but when you say vocal production, that means what do you mean? picking your own vocal parts, singing them, executing them your way without As opposed the help to or who, instruction who of would anybody. Do, somebody else would say, A okay, producer. Shaka, do it this way. I want you to hit this note with this. Well, often when, when you hire a producer mm -hmm. to, over, to oversee your project, um, this would be his responsibility to make sure that you sing it this way or right. that way or whatever, but I've never had that kind of direction. I've never okay. taken good direction in that way. All right, so you determine exactly how you're going to sound right. on every song. Right. So why did you decide to do this? I mean, did you just get sick and tired of being told how you should do things and you just wanted to control it? Or? Yeah, basically that's part of the reason. <laughs> and no one really told me uh -huh. how to do or what to do or anything like that. It's just that I just felt that there was a need for me to take part, you know, in, in my life, <laughs> yeah. you know, to this degree and in yeah. this way. Oh this boy, time. but what a, so. oh, what a great, great career. You know, I'm, I'm talking about you going the one, the only, the incomparable. <laughs> yes, I've Often imitated, it. never duplicated. <laughs> How does that, does that make you feel uncomfortable or do you think, yeah, yeah, that's right? Well, sometimes I think, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, There's some right. truth to it, but, you know, it's, this buildup you gave me is like, <laughs> <laughs> Like, it's very nice. I appreciate it, you know. But, but don't I just you don't feel see that you myself you this way, no. Oh, if I could sing, I'd, I'd see myself that way. I'd say, oh, I am bad and I know it. Well, that's the difference between you and me, I guess. I just yeah, wouldn't. but don't you, don't you know, if you were good, you've been getting all this recognition for all these years, mm -hmm. don't you kind of feel you deserve, deserve all the props? Well, look, I, to myself, to me, mm -hmm. um, I'm not anywhere near... Uh, what I want to be, you see. Really? No. I'm still not singing the things I hear in my head, you see. I'm just making attempts, feeble ones at that. So it's, it's a personal thing, you yeah. know, with me, how I view myself. And I don't, um, and I think the best way to kind of, you know, keep tabs on your progress on your, as, in, as an individual, personally, is to just really not to adhere and not to get caught up in what people say and how people mm -hmm. view you. You really have to keep a personal aspects going to yeah. that, you know, so that you can so you're st do the right thing. Okay. <laughs> so, so you're still striving for some personal goals that some you have Some kind of set. perfection, yeah, that was probably unattainable, but uh, I, I, you know, won't stop me from trying. <laughs> Nonetheless, you know, I will still keep trying. Yeah, does, does that in any way, shape, or form depress you at all to think that maybe you're setting these goals that you may not attain, or is it just good enough to try for them? Well, when I'm thinking realistically, I, I always know for sure that perhaps this will never happen, okay? Mm -hmm. that I'll never probably reach the perfection that, that I think I could attain, but because I don't even know what perfection is. How could I? I'm a human being. I just know that I am not, uh, I'm not reaching my potential. Yeah. I'm not living my potential, I'm not fulfilling it yet, so that's all I can really say okay. on it. <laughs> okay. I don't do a whole lot of self. Yeah. Analysis no, or anything. Analysis you just say you, you, you just feel like when you get there, you'll, you'll know it. Perhaps, hopefully, yes. Was well, there anything that you haven't done yet that that you would like to do? I mean, would you like because you did a jazz album? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was okay. I would like to do another jazz album. Okay. And I'm and it's sort of in the works. I'm thinking um, 
about it, and I'm trying to figure out, you know, it's just in the, in the, in the thought stages right now, in the thinking stages that I haven't made any moves. Uh, but I've had a few meetings with a couple of people that I'd like to have involved. Uh -huh. And um, I think I'd like to do another jazz album. I think that would be, I'd be a little more proud of. I wasn't so yeah. jazzed by the last jazz album. Well, why not? What didn't you like about it? Well, I just think that um, it came for me at a time when I don't think I was really ready for it. Mm -hmm. So it's not something that, did somebody propose that you maybe should do this now? Well, I was asked by these great people to mm -hmm. do this album, the record, and I sort of couldn't turn it down, you know? Yeah. Because I wanted to work with them really bad. Right. You know, Chick Corea, Stan and Clark, those people, I really wanted to work and with them. Oh my gosh, yeah. This and is um, I think that was, that's what really determined, you know, me doing it, and that's not a good thing to determine whether or not you do a thing or not like jazz, which, which is a music, a music form that I really expect, I have a really big respect for, so I, I think that I... Well, I think you do would it do again. it wonderfully. I, did the, I think the last album was wonderful, too. And we'll talk more about, you know, future projects. And we'll talk more about the current project. The Woman I Am. Not me, my guest today, Shaka Khan. This is Video LP. My name is Sherry Carter. And Shaka Khan is my guest today. And we've got a phone call. Shaka, can you deal with it? I can do my best. All right. Let's see who's <laughs> on the phone. Hello, caller. Welcome to the show. What's your name? Where are you calling from? My name is Rakia. I'm calling from West Orange, New Jersey. Was it Rakia? Yes. All right, Rakia, speak up just a little bit more and direct your question or comment to Shaka. Hi, Shaka. Hi. I would like to know if you'll be producing any of your future projects. If I'm what? If you will be producing any of your other future projects. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Every album from now on, I shall be producing. Okay. Oh, so it made a big difference. It really did. It, I could never go back to that passive really? way of doing an album. I'll be producing. Yes, Rakia. So you, so you say this is a success, and why didn't you start doing this earlier? Well, because I wasn't ready. I didn't want to. And now, you know, I'm strong enough. I yeah. feel like I can handle it. So. so it's all about feeling with you. When the, the mood's on you, when the feeling's right. When the I follow. That's what I follow. Yeah. This is my, my barometer for life. Yeah. yeah. For You've always kind of been like that. A very, I, my impression of you always. And I admired it so much yeah. about you. And still do that you seem like a very carefree of spirit. Well, I don't know if I'm free of care, but I can but, say well, that. But you know what I mean. I do follow well, my... you pretty much kind of go with the flow. Yeah. Well, okay. yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. So let me ask you Or what, against it. Or against it sometimes. And, As the case may okay. be, right. <laughs> well, all right. What made you follow that flow to the UK? You do not reside in the United States anymore. Is that correct? Well, no? let's say I have a triple residency. Okay. So the thing works out. <laughs> Where, um... I live in London and in Germany, and you know, I'm in the States a lot as well. So. Okay. Um, but what made me move was just that same quick decision. It was a very quick decision, and I did it in a very short, uh, uh, short time, and I, I'm glad I did it. I did it ba mainly because um, I needed a fresher look at things. I needed a different uh, you know, um, way of looking at stuff, different yeah. angle. Mm -hmm. And uh, this year has uh, been very good for uh, really? me. It's been good for me in this way. I, um, was losing a that's a sort of writer's block and when I um, moved you know to Europe I, I got it you, back. You got it back. Mm -hmm. It flowed to you. That yeah. was like right after CK. Yeah. That, which was, that was the last album, 1988 right. mm -hmm. I think. That, that's in my car right now. Is that's it? in my little cassette. Yes it is. Mm -hmm. That's one of my favorite albums. I thought that was wonderful. Thank you. But how did you feel about that album? Was it that album that kind of made you I thought it was a I thought it was a really good album. I thought it was maybe a little bit uh, too diverse for some people's tastes. Um, that kills me. I'm trying to just give maybe reasons or excuses yeah. as to why <laughs> it wasn't successful. But it, but was, it was wonderful. Uh, I thought it was a, a very good album. Yeah. I was very happy with yeah. it. Oh, gosh. Anyway, enough about what I like. We're going to give you what you want, and that is to talk to Shaka Khan again. Mm -hmm. Hello. Welcome to the show. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello. How are you doing, Sherry? Hey, how are you? Yeah, my, my name is Kevin Alexander. I'm calling from Youngstown, Ohio. All right. You've and got I'm the floor. I'm so glad that I finally get to talk to Shaka Khan. <laughs> I've never seen her perform, but I finally get the chance to talk to you. Hi. I wanted to ask you, what took so long in between the past couple of albums that you had, and when are you going on the road? I missed you here in February of 85, and I promise I ain't going to miss you again. <laughs> your fans love you. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, what took me so long? That was your first question? Right. Well, I was moving. I was in the process of moving locks back and barrel. Uh, to Europe and setting myself up, you know, in business and stuff like that and getting myself together so that I could do this album. I will be doing a tour um, sometime this year around the end of the summer or so. 
Okay. Yeah. Would that be? Youngstown, would love to bring you. We got some promotions Youngstown. going on here that's fantastic. Well, I'll do my best to get there. <laughs> Thank you very much. God bless you. Tell your daughter, say hi, and tell Damien hello, and God bless you. God bless you too. Thanks All for right, calling. Take care. Bye. 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 Oh.